what's up youtube daisy rose here and i'm back at you guys with another video so yeah i'm outside i think i like recording videos outside it just feels good it's nice to get the sun on my face and you know sometimes that could really help like when you're in a funk and you're in a mood just getting outside and letting the sun shine on your face rejuvenating your melanin whether you have a lot of melanin or whether you have a little bit of melanin sometimes your melanin just needs to be rejuvenated and getting some natural light some vitamin d is a great way to do that which brings me into my video how are you how are you feeling today i know what kind of week i had i'm having a better day today but guys like this week was so hard and I don't really know if what I'm going through is a reflection of what anyone else may be going through or if you guys had a bad week or if anyone had a bad day or if you just clicked on this video because you need something to lift you up or you kind of want something to make you feel better and you don't really know how to get out of a funk. I definitely feel you. So like, let me just give you guys a little synopsis of what happened to me this week. The week didn't start that badly. Like, the week started off nice. It wasn't like a horrible week to start. And then everything came crashing down on Tuesday. Sometimes it could just be like a pile up of things and then like one little thing happens and blows up the whole thing it's like the cherry on top of the ice cream or whatever so the people that know me know that i've been walking through like some really hard seasons of life i've been walking through a lot of trial a lot of tribulation like i'm really good about keeping a smile on my face i carry it well i always say i carry it well but you know god is good and there are rays of sunshine within the madness and i know that joy does come in the morning and joy also comes in the mourning in the sadness we have christ i have jesus christ who's my strength who's my rock through it all and who has kept me honestly has kept me through through the through the darkness i don't even know if i would be standing here <laughs> if it wasn't for jesus for real like if i'm keeping it real with you guys so i mean just to give you guys an example of one of the things that happened this week like i was at work and i went on break and then as i went on break i was realized that my tank was low and also like i have adhd so sometimes i can be like forgetful and i don't always like notice when my tank is getting low and i sometimes like leave it to the last minute to like get gas or whatever so i went to i was heading to the gas station during my lunch break because i noticed my tank was really low and on my way to the gas station my car literally broke down my car broke down on the road i was like right up the street from the gas station and i had a gas canister in my car because this is not the first time this has happened to me yeah i get out of my car and i get to walking to the gas station and a lady sees me and picks me up and so nice and takes me to the gas station i fill up my gas tank canister and then she takes me back and then i leave my keys in her car and she drives off with my keys and so that i'm stuck there y'all don't even know it was so horrible of course i went into prayer and warfare because i was like this is not a normal this is not normal activity right now this is demonic activity <laughs> okay i don't know but that's how i that's how i decided to cope with it and so i prayed and guess what i got my keys back the next day that lady didn't have any information of mine she didn't have my phone number. she didn't have nothing but i got my keys back the next day okay baby i went into warfare prayers i didn't just do no baby prayer so but yeah i mean i had to spend almost a hundred dollars to get my car towed back to work so that i would get back to work and not lose my job because all of this obviously took way longer than the hour that i was given and it was just a bad day and then i couldn't hang out with my friend because my car got towed and i was like really excited to hang out with my friend we had these really fun plans couldn't do it and it just really sucked and like it just was a really hard week and of course like i said sometimes it's not like huge like catastrophic things that happen sometimes it's like the little things that just pile up and just kind of make you like over it and done and tired and sick of life and i've come here to just talk to you guys because when you feel down it can be really hard to see past what you're going through and it can be really hard to see like the light at the end of the tunnel and i'm here to remind you that like the devil is a liar he doesn't want somebody to be happy know that every depressive attack that you go through don't allow the enemy to win because that's exactly what he wants he wants you to succumb to your feelings he wants you to fall down and not get up but you saw how i picked y'all up i picked y'all up and you can pick yourself up too and so i was thinking about what i wanted to do for my youtube video today 
and I just kept thinking about David. David was king of Israel, right? He was a man after God's own heart. He was one of the major players in the Bible. God loved David. And but David was an imperfect person and David went through a lot. I mean, if you read the Psalms, we know that David wrote most of the Psalms and a lot of the Psalms are praise and worship and they're happy and they're giving thanks unto God. But a lot of the Psalms are really dark and deep and lamenting and wondering where God is in the midst of his situation, where God is in the midst of his trial. Why has God forsaken him in his darkest moment? These are a lot of what the Psalms are, which is why the Psalms are such a great source to go to whenever whenever you need prayer, whenever you I'm wondering what to pray or how to pray because there is a prayer in the Psalms for every situation. There's a prayer in the Psalms for every season of life. It can be hard to like remember the goodness of God and it can be hard to even think that God loves you because if God loves you, why is he allowing you to go through so much darkness? Why is he allowing you to go through so much pain? When David was on the run from Saul for seven years, he... I think the Bible, there's a scripture in the Bible that says like at one point he had an interaction with Saul where he could have killed Saul, but he decided not to. And he thought to himself, one day Saul's gonna kill me like he thought to himself that he was going to die in that place although God had already anointed him as king of Israel years ago when he was still a shepherd boy in the pasture with his brothers and his father but God is sovereign and he's a man of his word and just like David did not die in the situation and circumstance he was in when he was running away from Saul when he was living with the Philistines just like Job didn't die in the situation and circumstances that he was in when he had lost everything when the devil had even struck his family and struck him with boils just like Joseph didn't die in the pit you too will not die you too will not succumb you too will not fall you too if you allow god he will not leave you in the place that you're in today and sometimes when you just feel down you need somebody to remind you that god loves you and that god sees you and it can be hard when you hear um, other people with these amazing testimonies or these amazing stories of how God showed up in their life and you're kind of wondering well where's God in my life it helps a lot to look to the people in the Bible and look to what they went through and look to how some of them were in these places for years like a lot of the, the people that God blessed and anointed and lifted up so highly in the Bible went through years of dark things they went through years of trial years of tribulation years of shame years of wondering where God was in their situation and I feel like to somebody who may be feeling like left out, to someone who may be feeling forgotten, to someone who may be feeling unseen, know that we serve a God who sees you even in the pit. We serve a God who sees you even in the pasture. We serve a God who sees you when your car breaks down on the side of the road and somebody drives off with your key and you don't know what you're gonna do. God is able to make a way and he does. I'm coming on here to kind of encourage you guys tell you guys what how my week was like and encourage you guys in it but also to give you guys a testimony because um man i was feeling so down like after this because it's like i'd worked so hard i work hard for my money right it's not like i'm getting paid for these youtube videos i'm doing i'm not monetized yet and so i have to work right and i work hard for my money and i feel like you know like I said, the people, a lot of people that know me know that I've been going through like a series of just trial after trial after trial, like thing after thing after thing has been coming. And I'm just like, I was telling God, like, I'm tired of going through this. Like, I'm tired of having these kind of days. I'm tired of, of fighting. Like, I'm tired. Like, why? Like, I'm just, I'm tired, right? You know, I was just at a place where I was just like, God, like, you're going to need to do something for me because I don't even know how much I got left. My tank is running on empty like my car. <sighs> And even in that, I was like, okay, God, well, your word says you won't fail me or forsake me. And so I have to continue to believe and trust and rely on that. And it doesn't mean that I wasn't upset. It doesn't mean that I wasn't unhappy. It doesn't mean that I didn't cry because I, I did cry. I cried. But you know what? Like literally the next day I did get my keys back. And not only did I get my keys back the next day, I went and I went to a small group with some of the people from my church. Love them. If you're watching this video, you guys are the best. And <laughs> it's so crazy how God works because I was so sad. And not only did somebody give me $100, like somebody was just like out of the blue, somebody gave me $100 because they're like, Daisy, you know, you speak so much life into me and you help me out so much. And I'm just so happy to have you in this group. And I just wanted to give you this as a token of my appreciation. But he gave me $100, which was $3 more than what I spent to get my car towed to my work. And so not only did God reimburse me from what I lost um during that horrible horrible ordeal but he also i also that same day somebody gave me free tickets to the passion conference 
did you just hear what i said if you're going to pageant 2023 comment under this video and let me know because your girl gonna be there too say what's up guys the devil is so mad he hates this he hates that i'm telling y'all this right now he don't like this we overcome by the power of our testimony though okay and so not only did i get the hundred dollars that i spent towing my car back to work when my car broke down not only did I get my keys back the next day, but I also got free tickets to the Passion Conference. I didn't have to pay $1 for these tickets. And I also was not going to be able to go. Like, I had just lost money. I was not going to be able to go to the Passion Conference if I hadn't received this gift. And I'm telling you guys this today because I know that sometimes when you feel down, it can be hard. You can get stressed out. You can wonder where God is. And so many people, when they go through things like this, they allow their faith to die there. And I'm just here to encourage you and tell you to keep on believing God. Keep on praying. Keep on seeking. Because you may never know. You may be just about to give up and God's blessing may be on the other side of you taking the next step. Of you keeping on in your faith. Of you continuing to believe. Of you continuing to live that's for somebody of you continuing to live your breakthrough may be on the other side of that of that one step i was going to post something else today but i feel like somebody just needed this encouragement to know that when you feel down do not forget the promises of god's word do not forget the things that he's spoken over you and do not forget the character of god he's sovereign and he sees you even in the pit he sees you even in the pasture and he sees you even on the side of the road so take heart you're not always going to be happy sometimes things happen in your life and it's not going to make you happy you're not going to be jumping for joy when things start falling apart but you do have a rock that you can rely on that you can lean on that you can hold on to and know that he will sustain you that he will give you peace and that if you just keep on pushing forward you will see the harvest you will see the breakthrough you will see the goodness and the joy that comes after the morning and so ooh. I just really hope that this blessed somebody today, that this encouraged you, um, that this helped you, that this resonated with you, that this gave you peace, that this gave you encouragement, that this gave you what you needed to keep seeking God, to keep going, to keep pressing on just one more day. And if you need to come back and watch this video as many times as you need to in order to remind yourself of the truth of God's word. And so, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post videos every week. Sometimes it's videos like this. Sometimes it's not. You never really know what you're going to get on this channel. So subscribe so that you don't miss out on something good. Okay. Love you.